You guys ready? Okay, so this is just kind of a general quick feedback, okay? I love the work you guys have done here. I'm super impressed by everybody, and I'm, I'm not going to get to everybody right now, okay? So what I've done is I've just locked the layers here. So just a couple doodles, okay? Let me just be for brush. Let me do a couple line work. Okay, cool. There. All right, so this is Vincent's. Um, yeah, you can see his name here. Really good stuff. So what I want to do, Vincent, I want to be able to s visualize this three-dimensionally a little more, okay? So all it is is you offsetting the lines. It's a really cool idea, okay? So watch this. Let me reduce your opacity here. And let me go like this. Opacity down. Oh, and then I'm going to see all the other ones, right? See ya. Let's, let's turn these off. Bye, bye, and bye-bye. Okay. All right. So I see yours there, right? Roughly. Okay. So let's go with the darker color. I'm going to go in the blue zone because I think that's a nice, something like that. Okay, whatever. Let's go. So right now you have a really wild and very original shape. Okay, guys? Look at this. So what I want to do is I want to take advantage of what's happening inside here. See that? Yeah? This goes out like that. And look what just happened already. So you just come in here and then you cut this into it. Okay? Because like it's hard to see both the bottom and the top at the same time, right? Okay? So what you do is you if you do it this way, look, I'm just offsetting the lines, right? Offsetting. See that offset, guys? And then I can come here, down, 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 down. And so what I'm doing is I'm trying to show form, depth. See here? So basically, it's some kind, it's a shape like this. I'm just going to draw another one. And you got this really cool, very sci-fi approach here. So I'm just changing your angle just for fun. Okay, so what happens? I'm facing, right? Below the horizon, you see this stuff, right? See how I'm trying to kind of make yours become more 3D, right? So see, I'm just adding these kind of contours right now to kind of give you a sense of three-dimensional work. Does that make sense? Okay. So like try, all you do is whatever drawing you did, you offset it. As soon as you offset it, guys, it becomes something. If I'm drawing a room, nobody knows this is a room. The minute I offset and I do stuff like this and I darken it, this could be an opening, right? If I do this, it becomes a door. So here, all you're doing is going, and then boom, boom, boom. And you're coming in here. Yep, okay, well, maybe this is this side. See? And if I have another one down here going beyond it, look. See what I just did? So what happens is when you make this in 3D, you're going to see it. See, look, this whole surface, let me just color this surface in. Look, this. Sorry, I shouldn't be coloring zigzag. Zigzag is no good. You got to keep things parallel, make it better. Okay. So do you guys see what happened here? Does this make sense? As soon as you offset the lines, it's pretty wild, right? Look, this is three dimensional now. This may be not what you've done, but I'm trying to say to you, the minute you do that, it's awesome, right? I can trace this and I can draw it again here. Boom. I can take this and go out here. Look. Done. Does that make sense? Okay. So it's a lamp, right? This could be wild, really cool. I don't, I don't understand this, but you'll explain it afterwards. It's all good. Everything else is awesome. See, you have a cylinder, right? Right? It's a cylinder, right? So what if I come in here and just do the same angle that you did, or a different angle, right? This is a line. Okay? It's just a rectangle, correct? The minute I do this, look how it changes. Look. Again, this, turn, 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 turn. Same angles. Double the turn. Oh, nice. Whatever that angle is. See, now I have something happening here. Okay? So watch this. Ready? Right? Are you with me on this? Look at what I'm going to do here. The minute I change this, look how it just became volumetric. You guys see that? So you start off with lines. It doesn't matter what it is if you want. If you want that shape, I could go in here and do this. Look. And then I go, and then I double the line if I can, if I can, and then I get some cool things happening. I'm just saying, like, the minute you, t you, you add, so go bump, bump, bump. But what happens is, Vincent, if you look at the pencil away from you, 
This point is away from me, right? So if I turn my pencil this way, I can't see the other side, but I can see this side. Okay? So if you add these kind of little things, and it, you know, it, it kind of pops. So just try that. And here, see? Add something like that. But you can add it with a darker blue if you want. Then just you know, highlight down here, a little darker, darker, brighter, which is what you've done. Okay, so I can come in here, take a bit of this over here. So just show that value change if you can, okay? Cool? All right, one down. Let's mm -hmm. go next. Put it all. Okay, here. Really good stuff here. I like that. Um, this one thing I do like about this a lot is you guys showing me your references, right? Some people have just drawn things without references, and to me that's a problem in the process. You show me your influences, and everybody knows where you came from, your journey, right? If we don't know where you came from, and you could just, like today, I was washing my hands in the bathroom over there, right? I was looking, you guys can't see it, like in the, in the teacher's bathroom, right? There was this product that looked like this, okay? And then the paper, if you guys ever been into the hospitality program, so it looks something like this, and I think there's a crank here, and the paper comes out, right? I just drew this, right? This could be my light source. I, I, anything around here on its own could be a lamp, right? This could be the stand. Who cares? I'm just making this up right now. But if I don't know where you guys came from, I don't know how this is a lamp. You can, you can say it's a lamp, but I don't know how you got there. Are you guys getting what I'm saying? If I don't know where this came from, it's not enough. This is cool. I know what you did. I know what you did. Okay, fine. I don't know. There's a lot of things going on here. So I'm trying to figure out is this, this is the stand. So what you do sometimes is go isometric, uh, orthographic. Watch this. You take your drawing. I want to see iso ortho, iso plus ortho in the end, right? Look, you got this. You got another one here. Got it. You got a smaller one here, a bigger one there. And then you got this, this business going on. So this is what you have. It's a chess piece. Okay, this could be a chess piece. I can come in here and round this out if I wanted to. So everybody needs this ortho drawing. Okay, that's cool. I know what you're doing. Okay, I think the lamp, the light is shooting out like that. That's fine. I get what you're doing. Uh, I also wrote underneath. Yeah, good, good, good. Thank you. This is good stuff, right? You guys get it? We don't want to see something without where it came from. I'm going to ask you to do a one page. It's going to be a quiz in a week. I'm going to say you have one day, I want to see a one-page process. You take pictures, everything you've done, and you place it, and you sell it to me. Do you get what I mean? A one-page is coming. It's like an advertising piece. Sell me your lamp. Sell me your light. I want to know your story, okay? I'm telling you now. One-pager. Let's go. Okay, this is wild. See here? Again, I'm seeing the connection. I'm seeing where the lamp came from, right? In context, it becomes real. Guys, I can take this mouse and I can say it's a lamp. But I don't know what you did to get there. If I don't know, then I can't accept the work. Does that make sense? Right? So you got to bring your story. Here's a story, right? These are the references. Outstanding. This is going to be wild and blended, but we'll just do... You're going to see how cool this is going to be, right? This is good stuff. And see how the elements... The elements, you took it apart, took it apart. That shows to me you're thinking it through, okay? It's not enough that we have one design in the end. We have to take it apart. I'm going to take a moment and explain this to you guys. And uh, so far, there are no questions over there. Watch this, okay? Uh, aside from my feedback, watch what I'm going to do, okay? Look, you guys here, all of you understand that we have four. And then this comes down to another version. Could be any two, right? So that's the four, this is the two, and this is the one. What I want you to understand going forward, this is, this is not the end. This is the real beginning of a process. When you have one, you take this one, you take it apart. You take it apart. All the pieces apart, and then you say, oh yeah, I think I like this, right? And then... I don't like something. So then you change it. You further develop it. See? Further develop an idea.
your idea. That's very important. When you get to this stage, it's like you reach black belt, but now you're really learning in martial arts, right? You know what I mean? Like you're, 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 now you left high school, you're in university, you're learning. So then you go over to university, you go to your master's. But the thing is, you, you kind of develop it further, it becomes alive. Because you're taking it apart. You're going, what are these pieces? Okay, I don't want people copying what I'm drawing and submitting it. That doesn't work in grade 12. Here we go. So this is good, awesome work. Here again. See, I, I know your process. I know how you got here. These are the elements. Beautiful work. And then this is the four, yeah, drawn. In the b and you know, down the road, you guys can pull better drawings, right? This is great progress for me to see where you are. Awesome, awesome work. What do we got here? Oh, yeah, so this is all your stuff. Anybody else? <laughs> so do you see how all of this kind of made sense, right? So you guys have to tell the story when you're designing. You can't just show up and go, here it is. I'm done. That's my design. It doesn't work in my classes. I want to know how you found this. I want to know, did you take it apart? How does this come together? The minute you take it apart, 3D modeling becomes easy. Because now you have, you have a path of how you're going to model it. Are we good with this? Anybody want me to review theirs? Okay, let me, turn, let me pause this for a second here. I'm going to put you guys on the side here. All right, so we got another one here. So what we need to do, just maybe go in and make it larger so we can see. Like, you see how in the page right now, guys? It's a lot of good stuff happening here, right? A lot of good stuff. Like, I love this right here. Look, let me just come in here and point it out to you guys. I'm going to make this a little smaller. What color am I using? Yeah, so this is cool, right? So you've got something here going like that. See, I'm just simplifying it, boom, 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 like this, right? So you start off with the simple shapes, and then you, did, you, you, you copy the same lines over, and then you've got this happening, and then inside here, you've got this business, right? Very, very cool. Okay, so that's one component, right? So what you want to do is now blow it up, like make it bigger, and say, okay, what is this? Is this, is this what material is it? I know you wrote it all here, LED, and the whole thing is a lamp? Like, it's glass? How is it? Okay. Like where the little lines are on the top part of it. Okay, cool. So now you, you're having a change of material, right? Do you guys see this? Look, let me just get some colors in here for a second. Let's see if we can pull this off. All right, so what happens is if you do have a change of material, then you need a division here, right? So you can say the top part is glass and whatever. The other part is LED, plastic, whatever you want, right? So what you need to do is make this drawing bigger so you can actually, now right, it's so small that we don't know what's happening, right? Yeah. So you, then, then you bring in other colors, right? And then say, okay, well, this is my, this is, this is, this is the, the part that, that glows. Maybe inside it's lit up, right? Maybe it's like that. Inside, outside, that kind of thing, right? You see here? So watch, I'm going to change it up here a little bit. I'm going to say this, this, and this. Sorry. And then what I'll do is I'll come back, I'll take another color, and I'll say the other part here. So I'm having kind of like whatever, like you see what I mean? Now color is showing me the change in materials, right? Is that okay? Right? Cool. Okay, so coming down to here, uh, in orthographic, it's kind of simple, isn't it? So you just do this, right? You just go cut, cut. You got another cut in here and so on and so on, right? So you can just do stuff like this as well because sometimes it's really hard to draw things in ISO, right? You're attempting it, which is awesome here. And what's really cool is, so come back here. What, what, what's going on with these colors today? Uh, let me go a little darker and smaller. I think my brushes are too big. Yeah, yeah, 25 is nuts. Okay, whatever. So look, see what I'm doing? I'm accentuating things now by, by me coming and going over my line work. Is this being recorded? Yeah, it is. Okay, so cool. See, like now I can come in here. Let's just say I'm going to leave it like that for a second. I'm going to change my material. Let me grab your blue here. And I'm going to say this part is the lamp. It's inside. Do you see what I'm doing? I'm cutting into it, just like the exercise today, earlier. I said cut into it because I was kind of hinting to people, whatever you're designing doesn't always have to be completely surface, right? You can always cut into it, make it interesting. So look at this profile, right? And, and I think that's something you were trying to do already. So this is another way of you explaining things. 
Does this make sense, guys? This is why ortho and ISO together are fantastic. ISO gives you three views. Orthographic, you can have six views. A cube has six sides. So technically, I could do six drawings, right? I can now do this. Look, you could drop this line down and then say, this is my top, Valian. That's my top. Then on the top, I have this ring. Here, let me just do an X here. Let me try to get this right, or something like this. I have another one here. Let me draw another circle. Right, there you go. So I have a second one. This is my second ring and so on. So now you can come in here and say, oh yeah, you know from the top, I may just open these up. Look. So now you're getting new ideas, right? Watch, for example, let's say uh, this is a cutout, right? Let me go and go a little darker here. So what I've done now, I've made certain cutouts that continue from, that you can see it from above. For example, you see how nice it is when you're, I'm forcing you guys, and sorry, that's a strong word. I'm hoping for, to be a, a designer, a creative person, you have to visualize things in many views. That's why I was showing you that cube exercise, right? So we're kind of visualizing. What does that look like when, if it's, when it's first facing this way? So now if I draw it from above, I can say, you know what? These parts are going to be lit up now. I'm changing it. I'm having another idea. So when you get to the one, guys, you know when you were four, two, one, Valley is like four, two, one. The one, you do as many sketches as you can because now you're looking at different views and you're getting new ideas. So for me, this is a new idea because I looked at it from the top. Does that make sense? Guys, come on, talk to me. What about people at home? What are you guys doing? Are you guys seeing this? Nobody? No comments? We don't see this. Yeah, you're, any, any questions? Why can't I change the size here? Hang on. So for your like, one process, did you use as many orthographics as you want? Yes. Like, that was, yeah, that was, okay. yeah, that's the whole point, right? When you get to the one, you start looking at this one here. Look, I'm going to come over here and look at this this way. Look, the side of that, right? See, see, see here? Mm -hmm. Then I come in here and I cut in stuff. And I'm going to say, oh, you know what? I'm going to cut in differently this time. I'm going to do it this way. And then, you know what? I'm going to take that light... And I'm only going to say it's an in, in uh, what's the word I was using before? Not an indent, insert. Like, do you get what I mean? Like now I'm changing this design, right? Now I'm inserting this. So this is now becoming all light in here. I'm making it different. But what's different here, watch this. I'm just, imagine this is another drawing. Okay, guys, look, watch this. Okay. Now watch what I'm doing. I'm changing this completely up. Hang on. Let me just go darker. Uh, let's grab the darker color. Boom. Watch this now. Uh, let's make this smaller. So check it out. So now I'm making an insert. An insert means there's an inlay. An inlay. Look. See here? Now this becomes my light source. But my light source is going like this, but it's stopping on one side. Does that make sense to you guys? Sorry, this angle's off, right? But do you, get, do you get the power of insert, right? Inlay. Inlay, insert. Those are the two words I want you to think about today. All right? Look how cool that is. Right? That only happened when I did all these drawings. But if you keep drawing the same angle over and over and over, you're going to do the same thing. You've got to start spinning things around and say, what can I do to make this better? Are we good with that? All right. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, review. Let's not lose this drawing, people. One more. One more, and then we'll go on a break. Okay? Let's go. Giddy up, Valiant. Come on. All right. <laughs> all right. Look at this. Okay? I, I, I have it. I, I've seen um, the influences the, that you've had, right? This is beautiful stuff, right? So do you see the multiple views you guys are seeing here, right? If he doesn't, if he doesn't go to a different view, how is he going to know what this thing looks like, right? This is wild stuff here, wild. The vertebrae thing drives me awesome. Like, you know what I mean? We talked about it, right? This is awesome stuff, guys. Like, look, one, two. This is somebody trying to think it through, right? You go here, you simplify it. This, this, this is like unbelievable awesomeness, right? Look how beautiful that. That is organic goodness, right? So tomorrow I'm going to show you guys in Blender how to make that, how to make this work, how to make this turn it, turn it, turn it. See? How to do this in Blender. I'll show you guys how to do that. It's not a problem. Look, see? So this is awesome. And what's cool is you got these things that are popping out, right? So this is a face. All I got to do is extrude it like this. And once I extrude it, then I can actually taper it. <laughs> Just like what I'm doing here. I can taper this. So it becomes, it's a face. All you got to do is take that face, 
and scale it in and you got this happening okay i love the fact that you're using that one color to kind of show where the light source is right it's very visual do you guys understand this is work when i see a lot of sketches i think to myself this student here is thinking it through that's awesome right that's what i want to see okay Everything is insanely awesome here. I love it. I, I'm not going to say it. Like, look at this view. See here? Front. Boom. Side. And uh, whatever you want. Bottom, top. This is the top view. Right? So he's got all these views. And then he's saying, you know what? I'm going to simplify it even further. And I'm going I'm to make these like this now. So from a shape like this, look how I'm just drawing what he's got there. There. That's, that's over here. And then he went to something more organic. Look, like that. See? One, two, three. This to me is wild. And it's really a cone. A cone is basically this. Take a straight line and pop it in like this. There you go. You got your cone. If you want to curve the cone, you just draw it like this. Take that curve wherever you want it to go. And then just add those contours. Right? Cross contour, cross contour, cross contour, something like that. This is wild stuff. Yep. Yeah, you can do it any way you want, man. But make sure, like, if you've drawn this much good stuff, don't shrink it any more than this. Do you get what I mean? Okay, yeah, yeah, but that for the quiz, you can do that. For the one-day quiz, I'm going to ask you guys to do, you can do a one-pager. This one, show off your work, right? Do you remember, I'm, I don't want to name names while I'm recording. Like, guys, sometimes you may take two pages for research with doodles. Sometimes you may take three. Somebody will say one. I've done enough. I've got my pictures. Here's my sketches. So you can do as many pages as you want. There's no restriction here. I want to see what you're thinking of. This is what it's about here. Okay? So ISO, ortho, when we're done. Are we good? So get that done because I want you, like, just only work in 3D after this. You can work on the drawings later tonight if you want, or sorry, like in class time and all that, okay? Any more questions for me? So I'm going to shut this down. I'm going to stop recording and I'll just answer.